Hi, this is Griff Patch. This is so cool. I wanted to share it with you. Um, so Scratch 3 has come and you might have known in the past that Scratch 2 let you write extensions, but they were really far away in Scratch X and hardly anybody was able to see them. Um, with Scratch 3, the plugins are kind of much more integrated with Scratch, um, like the pen blocks, you might have noticed they're now part of the uh, Scratch extensions, as are lots of other parts of uh, Scratch that used to be just native parts of Scratch. So when you write a Scratch extension now, they're much more integrated. And this has let me write a little extension, which of course you can't get hold of at the moment, but who knows what might happen in the future. But here is a physics extension. So I've added one in here, look, as with patch test in the extensions. And when it's added in, what I've done is I've set up a whole lot of sprites. These have got no scripts in whatsoever. They're just placed on the screen like that. The main cat has got one script called enable physics for all sprites and a loop saying step physics simulation. And that's now running. Um, what I have here is when this uh, sprite is clicked, push with force 75 in a certain direction. And that's attached to the cat. So when I click the cat, it's going to apply a force to the cat. Now watch this. <laughs> Yay! Physics in Scratch. I love it. Look at that. And it's all done using uh, these blocks. So the integration is great because it means I can draw a shape. So if I go click a new, well, I don't draw one, I can just import one. So if I import in this lovely little cherry here like this, I run my project. There it goes. It's all ready to go. I can drag things around. All my simulations are running. And uh, it takes the um, the shape of the object from the convex hull, which is already done for us in Scratch. So it's kind of useful. And there you go. So you can write these projects. If I load a different one, um, here's another one I was working on with llamas and, uh, and delicious Mexican tasty things and a big apple. And you can see, so they're all simulating in physics. And uh, you don't have to write much in Scratch to get it to work, just the main game part, and then the physics take take control of the rest. Wouldn't you love to have a go with that? Um, so, who knows, at some point, hopefully, I'll be able to uh, put a demo on the web you can have a play with. But it, it doesn't half make for a lot of fun. I really hope that Scratch 3 will uh, start allowing some of these extensions to be played with. Um, wouldn't that be fun?